Hello YouTube, this is a uh, comparison video about the SogFlash 2 and the Spyderco Endura 4 FFG. Uh, these are very different knives, but in some ways they're similar. And I just uh, want to talk about my preferences and what I like about each blade and what I don't like. Okay, so let's talk first about um, just the overall aesthetics of the knife. I have to say that the Endura is definitely preferred in this department. It's got uh, the different handle colors available, um, whereas the Sogflash 2, it, it does have different handles, but I believe it only comes in one handle color in the plain edge variety. Um, if you want the Digicam or whatever other handles they have, you have to get the partially serrated uh, version. And I personally don't like partially serrated. So, hence I bought the uh, the black handle version. Um, I think that the the texturing on the handles um, definitely Spyderco wins here as well. And you know what? Like uh, I'll save the suspense. Spyderco is going to win this battle, like hands down. But there are good things about both knives, so let's talk about that. Um, so yeah, the texturing on the uh, on the Endura is very very impressive. Um, you know despite the fact that the FRN is sort of a, a cheaper handle material um, than say G10 for example um, it, it really is a beautiful handle and uh, the grippiness is excellent the SOG is um, it's not bad uh, you know it's you can slide your finger along that pretty pretty easily if you if you see you know it takes longer to slide in my hand is kinda like bumping along the uh, Endura the um, the flash too, you can definitely slide it along, but there is a bit of grip there. It's it's definitely it's grippier than like a smooth surface like that for for sure. So there's something there. Um, the uh, the pocket clip, um, I don't know, like it depends how deeply you want to carry your knife for sure. Because look at look at the flash two versus the um, the Indura. You know, if you line it up here where it's actually going to be carrying in your pocket. You see, you've got probably an inch of um, of Endura sticking out of the pocket, so the the Flash Two is definitely going to carry deeper, which is kind of cool. Although I have heard sort of horror stories about um, the the clip bending on these, and I believe that Sog has a warranty where you can just request like a free clip repa replacement, so they must know about it. Um, the Spyderco clip is, uh, you know, it's black and the paint will chip off eventually, but that doesn't really matter. I've got a, I've got a Delica here by way of uh, representation. You see, it's kind of wearing a little bit, but it's, uh, it's, it's okay. You know, no, no big deal. Um, okay, so what about the deployment of the, of the uh, blade? How fast is it? Uh, Endura, you know, it's it's a lockback, so I find that uh, it took me a while to sort of get that down. Um, there's definitely faster blades out there, uh, but, you know, we'll get to the lock in a minute, but it does open fairly quickly, I would say. I, I can do it pretty fast. So, you know, speed is not really an issue with that, with the Endura. Um, with the Flash 2, um, it's got the assist in it, so it's spring-assisted. Uh, so you basically just kind of push up on that a little bit, and boom, it's open. Flash, uh, just like the name of the knife, right? So, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty fast. I would say, like, if it came down to speed, I mean, you have to, you have to give it to the to the assisted knife for sure. Um, okay, so what about the lock? Uh, on SOG, the um, they have the arc lock here. Um, I don't really know that much about it, but I'm assuming that it kind of shoves something into like um, like a recessed portion of the blade to, to keep it open or something along those lines. Um, and that that's cool, you know. Um, I don't, it's kind of funny actually. I've never seen this locking mechanism in any other uh, kind of knife before. Um, so I guess I really shouldn't be commenting very much on it. But uh, just in terms of the operability of it, um, it's very, you know, it doesn't feel very precise, to, to be perfectly honest. You know, how, how hard do you have to pull back on that to actually get the blade to open? Uh, is it all the way? You know, do you have to hold it? It's just, it, and it kind of slides around in there. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't have anything bad to say about it at this time, really. It's just, uh, it's one of those things that's going to require a lot more use to really determine how good it is. Um, 
the the back lock on the Endura with this uh, funny uh, recessed portion here. Um, I think it's a, more of a classic uh, classic design and sort of more universally accepted. Um, and I like it personally. My my favorite locking mechanism is the the liner lock for sure, just because of the ease of one handed opening and closing. Like this uh, this this lock, uh, I can open it and close it one hand. You just kind of stick your finger down there, let the blade drop on it. Make sure that if you're doing that, you've got a portion of the of the blade that is unsharpened so that it can drop on your finger and not hurt you at all. And then just close it from there. So it's uh, it's pretty easy to operate one-handed, I would say. The uh, the SOG Flash 2, obviously opening it is pretty easy. And I, I can do it pretty well one-handed. It took a bit of practice. When I first got it, I was kind of pissed, honestly. Uh, I didn't think I would be able to open and close it one-handed, but, you know, practice makes perfect. Okay, so what about the blade? Let's talk about that, because obviously that's uh, the most important thing. Um, they both have really cool blades, honestly. Like, I, I enjoy the blade shape of both of them. Um, the the Sog Flash 2, it has more of a belly on it, actually, which is kind of cool. Um, and it's just, you can't say anything bad about this blade shape. It's just very classic and, uh, you know, it's going to be very useful, so there, there's really nothing bad to say at all. The um, Spyderco Endura, I would call that more of a spear point blade. So obviously, if you look at the tips, um, like this one has a much more acute, uh, acute tip to it. Um, it's going to pierce much better than the uh, than the Flash Two for sure. Um, but you know, they're both useful. They're both they're both flat ground. Um, and I, I've used them doing quite a lot of cutting and uh, I like them both. So what about the blade steel? Um, in the Endura, of course, you have the VG10 um, and it's a, a nice steel. Um, I think it's um, it's better than the sort of baseline OS8 or 8CR13. Uh, it's n perhaps not as good as the S30V. But I don't even know what I'm basing that on, honestly, because uh, I, I own S30V and VG10 and 8CR13, and I kind of like all of them, you know. Uh, obviously, the 8CR13, you have to sharpen more, but VG10 and S30V, I really don't feel like there's that significant of a difference, and uh, I don't know. I'm, so, I'm sort of feeling like any knife with an S30V uh, blade is uh, something that you have to be careful with, because of the cost associated with it. I don't know if that's the right attitude to have, but that's sort of just how I feel at this point in time. Um, so anyways, yeah, VG10 is kind of cool. You know, uh, it's got that sort of middle class, middle of the road feel to it, and that's awesome. The the OS8, um, I think that, uh, you know, everybody says it's similar to the HCR13 MOV, which I did in fact own first. Um, so this is, um, you know, medium um, edge retention and all that stuff. Um, apparently it will rust on you if you're not careful. And to, to get into the whole rust thing, you know, I, I washed recently my Delica and my Sage 1. And I put them in like the drying rack, uh, like a, just a normal dish drying rack like this. And I left them overnight. And I didn't look at them again. I kind of packed them up and put them away. And... Now that I've unpacked it, you probably can't see it, but uh, there are like little rust spots on there. And I'm assuming that's because they were some moisture got in between the handle and the blade or whatever. But you know, S30V, VG10, OS8, whatever, uh, they can all rust on you if you're, if you're not careful. So if you leave it in moisture for a period of time, I would say more than 12 hours kind of thing, um, it's going to rust for sure. So I think this whole rust resistance thing is kind of, uh, people are kind of distracted by it. Um, you know, it doesn't make all the difference in the world. I think the main difference is just, it's just edge retention. Um, you know, how long before you have to sharpen your blade? And if you like sharpening, then there's nothing wrong with a softer steel. Um, in fact, I find sharpening to be quite relaxing. So I would almost rather sharpen it more often. Um, and also, if you're able to sharpen it more often, like if it's a softer steel, 
it gives me the feeling that you can abuse it more without it chipping or you know getting permanently damaged uh, because I believe that at, you know edges either roll or chip whenever they're placed under significant stress and I would rather it roll so then you can resharpen it easily rather than chip with an S30V or something like that. Um, so the last thing I guess I'll mention, or at least I think it's the last thing, um, inside the knives uh, you can see that the Spyderco has um, stainless steel liners in there and the SOG Flash 2 has nothing in there, it's just pure um, FRN handle. So I don't know, uh, you know what, I've never had a, a folding knife fail on me yet, maybe I just haven't abused it enough or whatever, but uh, just in my like normal day-to-day -day, uh, cutting tasks, I've never had a knife fail, um, whether it has steel liners, whether it's VG10 or FRN, or you know, no liners at all. Um, so I don't place like a huge uh, amount of uh, importance on that. Um, but that's something to be aware of, like if that is a factor for you, then this knife does not have steel liners. Um, yeah, so as, you know, okay, and maybe the last thing that I'll say is just like fun or, you know, playability of our knives, because I think that's important. So the Endura, you know, I, I think it's a perfect knife, honestly. This is probably one of my favorite knives, no question. But how how fun is it to play with? You know, it's it's okay. I can any knife that you can operate one-handed and open and close like many times without getting your hands sore. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but the Sog Flash too, uh, you know, it's got that sort of uh, the assisted feature to it, which makes it very easy to open. Perhaps less easy to close, but with practice you can get it down. But I just love that sound of the assisted knife, and it's just, I don't know. It's the kind of thing, if I was like 15 years old, I would love to have it. It would be like the best thing in the world. Um, and it's still pretty cool uh, at this point in my life. So, um, you know, I say buy both of them and uh, enjoy them. Um, you know, the, the blade length, I believe, is, is, you know, not precisely the same, but you know they're both sort of like larger um, EDC knives or whatever you want to call them so uh, yeah they're both pretty cool and um, I recommend both of them thank you for watching